The main role of anti-submarine warfare helicopters is to protect the fleet from enemy submarines. These helicopters are fitted with sophisticated sensors and are armed with missiles and torpedoes to track and hunt down enemy boats. Usually anti-submarine warfare helicopters also perform anti-ship search and rescue tasks. So which is the best anti-submarine warfare helicopter in the world? Which is the most capable ASW chopper? Our top 5 analysis is based on available specifications and data. This list do not include helicopters that are currently in development or at the prototype stage. It includes only helicopters that are in service. What do you think that which ASW chopper is better? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can watch more videos like this. Now let's get started. Number 5. Kamov Ka-27. The Kamov Ka-27 helicopter was developed for the Soviet Navy. It was adopted in 1982. The first production variant was the Ka-27PL. Its export version is the Ka-28. Currently it is in service with various countries. The Ka-27 retains Kamov's well-proven contra-rotating coaxial rotor configuration. This helicopter has no tail rotor, what allows to reduce footprint on ships. This anti-submarine warfare helicopter is extremely stable and easy to fly, an automatic height hold, automatic transition to and from the hover and auto hover are possible in all weather conditions. The Ka-27 PL has all the usual ASW and ASM equipment including dipping sonar and sonobuies as well as search radar. The Ka-27M is a recent version that is being tested and evaluated by the Russian Navy. It has got new radar and some other improvements. Number 4. Augusta Westland AW-159. The Augusta Westland AW-159 is a modern naval helicopter. It was developed to replace the successful Westland Lynx. Even though it looks similar to the Westland Lynx, it has significant design differences 95% of the components are new and only 5% are interchangeable with the latest versions of the Lynx. In 2014 it has been adopted by the Royal Navy as the Wildcat. Also it was selected by the South Korean Navy and actually won competition against the American MH-60 RC Hawk. The AW-159 is small helicopter, but it carries modern sensors, including an active dipping sonar. It can carry two stingray torpedoes or depth charges. Alternatively it can be armed with four Thales Martlet lightweight multi-roller to surface missiles or four Sea Venom lightweight anti-ship missiles. These weapons are effective against small boats and fast attack craft. Both of these missiles can target ships and land targets. There is also a transport and light attack version of this helicopter for the Army. Both Navy and Army versions have common airframe. Number 3. NH-90. The NH-90 is an international project. It was jointly developed by France, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands. It was developed as a NATO helicopter for the 90s, hence its name. A large number of these helicopters have already been built. This helicopter was developed for autonomous anti-submarine warfare and anti-ship roles. Its advanced mission suite includes a 360-degree search radar, dipping sonar, forward-looking infrared, magnetic anomaly detector, and electronic surveillance measures. The NH-90 is capable of all weather day and night operations even during high sea states. There is also an NH-90 tactical transport helicopter version for assault transport and utility roles. Number 2. Augusta Westland AW-101. The Augusta Westland AW-101 was jointly developed by British and Italian companies. Previously it was known as Eurocopter EH-101. However later Augusta and Westland helicopters merged and formed Augusta Westland. This naval helicopter was designed to replace the Sea King and made its first flight in 1987. It is in service with a number of countries. Some countries use the name Merlin for this helicopter. The AW-101 is a modern naval helicopter. It is fitted with dipping sonar and sonobuies. However systems and equipment vary from customer to customer. It has the power and performance for autonomous anti-submarine warfare missions. 
There is also a utility version of this helicopter. Number 1. MH-60 RC Hawk. The MH-60 RC Hawk is a multi-mission helicopter operated by the U.S. Navy. It is a further development of the SH-60B Sea Hawk. Development began in 1993. It was designed to combine features of the SH-60B and SH-60F anti-submarine warfare helicopters. First low-rate initial production helicopters were remanufactured form the SH-60Bs. However subsequent helicopters were newly built. The MH-60R was first deployed in 2009. Currently this helicopter is used by the US Navy and Royal Australian Navy. Main missions of the MH-60R Seahawk are anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. This helicopter can detect and track submarines and surface ships and attack with torpedoes and missiles. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe.